Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It is another unboxing video from Aegis Brand Studios. Uh, as always, uh, I am Leland, and uh, we are going to be taking a look at the last of the Black Order models here, which is Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight. So for anyone who watched the, the other video, you'll know that uh, I'm not really up on uh, the Black Order as far as the comic goes. My knowledge of them, it comes from the uh, the MCU movies. Uh, but right, right out of the get-go, I really dig what I'm seeing on these models here. Like, the poses are just looking fantastic. And uh, just in general, there's there's some nice fluid nature to it. Actually, it looks like they're they're designed to be sort of like posed together. Uh, so really looking forward to, to seeing that one here. Uh, I really enjoyed what I saw with the other Black black Order stuff, so uh, hopefully it kind of carries on here as well. So let's get this box open. Okay, so there we go. So as typical, we have our uh, we have our baggie full of goodies, and then we have our tokens, and uh, and then the models themselves. <coughs> So let's uh, let's take a quick peek here. So it looks like we still are, are going to be working with uh, models that are uh, instructions that don't have the numbers on them. Uh, it is something that they've gotten better with uh, from Atomic Mass Games as they've released more items. Uh, so man, yeah, uh, that's something. Thankfully, it hasn't been too difficult in most cases. Uh, for anyone who does have troubles, at the very least, Atomic Mass Games does have a solid uh, uh, guide on their website for assembling everything. So right off the bat. It looks like we have our affiliation card for the Black Order. So we got uh, Thanos naturally and then the rest of the Black Order. So that is kind of neat. And I believe Thanos had his um, had his leadership ability on his card. So I don't quite recall what they're working with. Uh, and then uh, right off the bat, so we got uh, a time gem with it. So this allows an additional uh, uh, power, to, uh, superpower to be used. Or an additional action rather to be used for two power. Not too shabby. Uh, execute unaffiliated. But this is regarding Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight. Basically, uh, what it looks like, uh, when either of them target an enemy character with an attack that is within one of an allied Corvus Glaive, both characters may spend two power to play this card. That character ha can roll no defense dice. So that is a nice way of getting through something like Captain America's ability uh, where he's just really tanky. Uh, Black Order Reactive Card. So, uh, if a character would be dazed, spend three power and they may immediately play, uh, perform an attack before gaining the dazed token. All right. Kind of cool. And what do we got here? Black order active. We have, uh, the price of failure. Choose an injured allied character to play this card. Other allied characters gain three power. The chosen character is KO'd. Not sure how I feel about that one, but you know, a nice, nice array of cards to, uh, to choose from there. Hey, look, tokens, love tokens. All right, moving on. And then we got the two cards themselves. So Corvus Glaive right off the bat. We got, I'm saying that a lot this one, jeez. Uh, four threat, threes across the board, six health. His attacks look pretty straightforward. I do like the pierce on his strike ability, uh, which basically allows him to get through a little bit easier. Uh, <clears throat> and another attack right there for uh, at four strength that can gain him uh, one power for, for the attack just after it resolves. That's not too bad. Death blow with a wild advance, <coughs> with a wild move. So basically, um, okay, yeah, so after the attack is resolved, he moves forward medium. So he, you know, board presence. And with the wild, uh, he can make an additional uh, strike attack after everything is uh, is resolved. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, so, and then with Glaive's Edge, you can add three more power to add some blanks to your attack rolls. Nice. Husband of Proxima Midnight. So that one's kind of cool because basically um, it allows you to activate uh, Proxima Midnight uh, right after you activate Corvus Glaive. So that that is some good action economy right there. And then he reduces uh, damage taken to a minimum of one and he can uh, use the uh, reality gem. Oh, no, reality and time rather. Then we have Proxima Midnight, three threat threes across the board, five health, long movement. Actually, yeah, and his is medium. So she's got some good movement right there. She also has a pierce. Excellent. Love the love that sort of thing. And uh, her spear throw. Okay, that's kind of cool. So her spear throw allows her, uh, allows her to be placed within one range one of a uh, mo uh, the target model after it's resolved. Cool. As long with uh, along with a poison, quantum starburst. So that is a damage six for four power. And uh, oh wow. Okay, so that really stacks on the, the modifiers right there. Bleed, Poison, and Stun um, after the attack is resolved. Oh, as long as damage is dealt with it. But when it's rolling six dice, you should be doing damage. 
Martial Prowess. Okay, so that is one where if they're within range 2, spend 2 power, and you're rolling 5 defense dice. If you suffer no damage, basically uh, you deal 2 damage back. Not too shabby. Uh, Wife of Corvid Glaze, basically same thing we saw for uh, Husband of Proxima Midnight. And Invulnerability, so reducing some damage. So pretty cool. Uh, very much designed to work in tandem with each other, it looks like. Uh, I can't imagine why you would take one and not the other, uh, just for the action economy. So that's that's really nice right there. As far as the models themselves go, uh, right off the bat, there's some spindly models there. That, uh, that spear has me a little worried. Um, but aside from that, everything else looks pretty easy. Hopefully these, these little pads here aren't too difficult to uh, get onto the model. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It's, it's more pieces than I was expecting. I always hate when the hair is separate there. Uh, but I think these shoulder pads or wrist pads or whatever they are, are a little bit more annoying for me. Uh, and then we got Corvus Glaive here and he looks very straightforward. Torso, leg... Each one of his legs is two pieces. Okay, that's a little odd. Uh, arms, and then tactical rock, head, cloak. Okay, he looks really simple. So we are going to get these two assembled and take a look at them. So we have Proxima, Midnight, and Corvus Glaive put together. Uh, I'm actually going to start with Proxima Midnight this time. And for the most part, she was actually pretty easy to put together, even with those little tiny bits uh, attached to her. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. Let's move... Uh, Corvus Glaive there. Um, so the, those bits were actually parts for her, uh, her upper arm, um, which like her bicep, which was a little annoying. I still feel it was a bit unnecessary, uh, but not too bad. I am a little concerned about the spear. It uh, it doesn't strike me as the, the most uh, solid piece of plastic, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, the other part that really kind of annoying is that there wasn't really clear instruction. Oh, oh geez, she's coming off. Uh, and this is actually what I was just about to talk to you about. There wasn't really good, clear instruction on uh, on how she balances on this tactical rock of hers. Um, as you can see, she's kind of coming off. Yep, there she goes. So I'm going to have to take care of that. It's... Uh, Unlike a lot of the other models, she wasn't uh, the the divot or the the connector point isn't quite solid. Uh, there's not a lot to it, like that. There's it right there. There's just a tiny little bit there, and it's kind of a shallow a shallow hole. And you can see on the bottom of her foot. Hopefully, you can see like that the little connector point. I can't really get it to focus here, unfortunately. So she's kind of problematic. Otherwise, she's she's a decent sculpt. Uh, the details are a little shallow around the uh, the torso there. So that has me a little concerned, especially considering that uh, the comic look of her has the white there. That can always be a bit of a pain um, to do that. I'm actually struggling with some other models at the moment that are doing that. Uh, but otherwise, she's, she's a decent model. She's got a good pose, got that uh, spear throw thing going on for her, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, as, as long as uh, I can get her to stay on her base as she should, she'll be fine. Corvus Glaive. Uh, I think he's become one of my favorite sculpts, to be honest. Something about him leaping forward, the contact point being on on his cloak. I really like it. You know, the arms spread out. It's not even like that Dubro come at me or whatnot. It just, it has a very menacing, aggressive look to it. I, I have to say, I really like it. Uh, I dig, I dig his weapon, his, uh, his glaive, as it were, uh, his glaive, spear, whatever. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's, it just has a fantastic look. The cloak has some nice detail with the, the, uh, the tatters and the holes in it. Um, just in general. Yeah. I, I think Corvus Glaive is just, he, I think he's honestly become my favorite sculpt so far from this game. Uh, I'm really looking forward to painting him up. He's kind of got sort of like a black and gold thing going on with his, uh, with his, uh, box, which is, well, let me bring it in here. He's got that sort of like bluish black and gold. Um, so he actually looks like he's going to be fun to put together and paint. So anyway, yeah, there we go. Uh, not much more to really say on these two models. I think they're both fine models. I really like Corvus Glaive. Proxima Midnight is, is fine in her own right. Um, but yeah, great models. Great way to end off the Black Order, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the next set of releases. So anyway... Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what, uh, what you want to see more of. And as always, happy wargaming.